All right, what's up, guys? A lot has happened since the last video. The gyms are closed, everything's closed, because we all know why. I guess a worldwide pandemic. So today's my day off, a day off in quarantine. <laughs> so yeah, so what I did so far, woke up, and I pretty much prepped all my meals until Thursday meal two. And I prepped some meals for Sam. Yep, yeah, I'm not single anymore. Pretty happy about that. So yeah, so my meal are a little bit different now because there's no more shows. Me and Doran decided to change the plan and on my diet. It's like between um, a low day and a high day. So it's like a medium day. I get 200 grams of rice per meal, except the post-workout have 300, and I got 100 grams of cream of rice in the morning. And my proteins are all eight ounces, and yeah, I'll show you guys, I guess. So my breakfast, two eggs, six ounces of chicken, 100 grams of cream of rice, five ml of fish oil, meal two, 300 grams of cooked rice, eight ounces of orange roughy, meal three, 200 grams of cooked rice, eight ounces of white fish, cod. Meal four, eight ounces of chicken breast, 200 grams of rice. Meal six, eight ounces of salmon and 200 grams of rice. And meal five and six, I can add a cup of veggies. I like zucchinis, grilled zucchinis, so that's what I do. And my post-workout, of course, Carb HD, two scoops with some EAAs. And on my high days, I even get Carb HD pre-workout, two scoops, so 50 before, 50 after. So yeah. Oh, I got an apple with meal too. So that's my diet for you. It's pretty similar to what I was doing, just different amounts of rice. So now I guess let's eat. How beautiful is that? It's a little bit late to eat my meal too, but I've been prepping meals like a crazy person. And I woke up late because it's a day off. I decided to have some rest. So yeah, but the cool thing about having a, a maintained diet is that, and because it's like between two preps, because I'm gonna start prep, like hardcore prep again once the show comes back, I need to stay like in the low 280s. I was 285 this morning, 282 yesterday. And 24, sorry, then 22 the day before that. Well, the cool thing, because I remember in the off season, I despised eating. I was eating so much food, a pound of rice per meal. I was so tired of it. Now, it's like I'm always hungry. So this maintained diet I, is actually probably in a deficit for me. But what keeps me up is like those two cheats. This, this calorie surge, it keeps me up, keeps me full. So this type of diet, I think is maintainable for forever. It's just in the off season because I gave my excuse that I wanted to add, add a lot of size. I was just snacking more than I should have been because I wanted to get over 300, like 320, and then 330. It was crazy. But with this diet, the meals, I just slam the meals easily. I'm always hungry, but I stay, I have to stay strict. I can't eat more than I'm supposed to because what if prep starts again in four weeks? I can't be like 300. I'm already 285 eating 200 grams of cooked rice. It's like, like uh, if I start snacking or cheating every day, forget that. I'm going to rebound. It'll be like a, the Michelin man. I'll be a balloon again. I don't want that. It wasn't comfortable. So the plan is, once the shows come back, we pick the ones that are sure to be not be canceled. I'm going to go 100% with the prep again and kill it. It's a good challenge for the pros because uh, who's going to stay on the diet in a not too far from contest? You know, from a contest prep shape. And who's going to just be like, you know what, I'll do it next year. Because what if in one month everything's over and then all the shows are in August and July? You're going to be ready. Because I'm preparing for that. If it doesn't happen, I'll just do the next the next ones. I mean, this diet is easily maintainable, like I said. Uh, it's not too hard mentally. The energy is, is okay. You know, I feel tired sometimes. Once the shows come back in. If I'm one of the only pros that, it's not too f that stay on a diet like that, I have an advantage on them. That's what I'm thinking. And if not, 
well, I'm, I'm going to have like clean gains. Like I'm like I'm 285 right now, but I'm not like I'm not retaining too much water, and I'm I'm fuller. So I think you know I've. It's always a good thing to everything. So you gotta you gotta make something. You gotta make a lemonade with freaking lemons. This this challenge comes up. You know how can I make this a good thing? And then I'm I'm doing that. So we'll see what happens. So yeah. So today just some cardio. I guess I have to do, which I will do later. I'm not gonna film that. I got a treadmill downstairs. So that's just boring. But um, let me eat some food and see what else I can show you guys I guess off day quarantine bodybuilder video all right I just did some cardio and now I'm eating meal three it's 5 p.m. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat meal four at seven or eight in between 9 30 10 meal 5 and 11 p.m. Just before midnight, mill six. Now what I'm gonna do now, I mean, I gotta go to groceries, but I'm gonna go set up here. Yeah, this is a quilt my grand grandmother made. Yeah, dude. I gotta kill the, the, the router. It's freaking hard. I couldn't do it yesterday. When the eyes go green, you got to counterattack with the, the gun and shotguns and stuff. It just feels impossible. All right, I'm gonna try to beat this fucking guy. Fuck's sake! Got him! Holy shit! I got him! Whoa! Woo! Whoa. Oh! Second try today. I've tried literally more than 30 times last night. Sometimes when you're stuck in a video game, take a break, come back to it later, fresh and ready. Yeah! You gotta keep yourself occupied. I just did a video for Herbstrong. It's pretty funny, actually. I'll show you. About CBD being anti-inflammatory, but did you know about the CBD cream? It's perfect. When you have an injury or when you have inflammation, you want to reduce. Like for example, I've been put in here. Just had a bad shot in the shoulder. A flu shot, of course. Do you like that one? Too? Yeah. You like this? It feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. I'm lucky enough to be sponsored by a lot of great companies, but sometimes you gotta keep the content organic. It's like, how can I do that? Like for me, being organic is just being funny. It's sometimes challenging to <laughs> make a post interesting, to get a lot of traction, pushing a certain product. But I think I'm doing a good job, you know, and I don't mind doing it when the products are actually good. Because everything I stand behind, I like. Pretty simple. If I like something, sometimes I would even go reach out to, I actually reach out to them myself, <laughs> Herbstrong, because I wanted to uh, use their CBD. And I just did some client stuff on fitlog.ca. Fitlog is made by my friend Khaled. Even the show, the Fitlog Classic, is actually postponed because of the pandemic. Quarantine! Quarantine! Got my meal here. But before playing, some more doom because what else is there to do? I'm gonna show you the new Rider right Wear D Max. And it's funny because in the email, I think they did a mistake because they called it, it was spelled rouge, like rouge, like Rider right Wear rouge. And I'm like, rouge? Well, they, that's red in French and they're not red. There's one pair that's red, the other yellow, this one is blue. Why are they all called rouge? Is this some type of like fashion like uh, expression? But 
Then I see, I saw the swipe ups and it was rogue, rogue. Make your own rules, be rogue. But stay inside, follow the rules of the government. <laughs> That's a nice yellow, actually. Isn't there a song like black and yellow, black and yellow, like a hip hop song or something? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Which one will you choose? The blue Rogue D-Mac or the red Rogue D-Mac? If you choose the blue one, Everything will go back to normal. You won't even know there's been a coronavirus out there. You'll just never know. You'll stay in the matrix. If you choose the red shoe, this episode of Black Mirror is not gonna end yet. The pandemic is not over. It's preparing us for a real virus that turns people into zombies. Do you understand? This will awake you. This will keep you unconscious and sleepy in the virtual world that you created for yourself. The easy path, the hard path, the real one, the zombie apocalypse that is upon us. I should play some Doom now, I guess. <laughs> Another day in quarantine. Quarantine? Quarantine? Yeah, today I worked on the Asian Muscle YouTube and I'm filming a little bit of this. I film a bit every day because, I mean, what else is there to do, right? I just train and stuff downstairs in the garage gym and I do cardio. I run outside a little bit. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not, but you know. Can't be staying here all fucking day. I'm gonna go crazy. I got the meal. You know, I guess it's good. Like, <laughs> it's good for diet. I mean, you just all all you gotta do is just eat your meals and and, and rest. I guess it's good for bodybuilding. Yeah, so I just uh, traded some bitcoins. I worked a lot on the HG Muscle YouTube, so check out the HG Muscle YouTube. Actually, I have a really cool video. Look at the card right now that I did for them. And we're gonna have one every week, a series. Uh, also Brendan and Valerie will have one and we have all our other HD Muscle athletes who are also gonna have videos on there so you should check that out for sure. But yeah, today I'm just gonna occupy myself. It's a, it's a day off, imagine. So I'm just gonna do cardio anyway. All right, guys, ready to go for a run? Okay. Q. Is Q going to get a jog? Are you ready, Q? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me, get, let me get dressed. I've got the cardio with Val and Quentin. We live together, so we're in quarantine together. So, yeah, so I'm going to use my phone to film because I don't want to run with a big camera. So, All right, let's do this. It's a beautiful day to be in quarantine. Wait a minute. Quentin. <laughs> it's one minute jogging. I think we lost Quentin. <clears throat> oh well. Our intervals are done. I st we stop at 22. I'm gonna walk back. A nice little incline walk. Maybe we'll see a Quentin on the way back. Do you think? Uh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Jesus, he lasted two I intervals. I can't believe it. He jogged two minutes and he just quit. Jeez. Last time I checked, y'all invited me to go for a walk. Y'all motherfuckers ran. I went another route, you know. I'm a bodybuilder. I ain't no damn marathon runner. And you, 
You better be careful with them weak ass ankles. Day 42 in quarantine. I think I'm going crazy. Just kidding. Just kidding. It's just um, cooking breakfast here. All right, so this is the gym that we have at the Muscle Mansion here. I'm actually the one who set it all up. It was a whole mess on the ground, and then one night I spent three hours listening to an ebook, The Power of Habit. <clears throat> I mean, I listened to an audiobook, and I mean, all that. So I own nothing but the treadmill, it's all door and stuff. Oh, and this, this is my mom's bike. Yeah, so. <laughs> Pandemic or not, I can always rely on training here. All right, so let's do a little bit of biceps, I guess, today. It's the only time it's okay to curl in the squat rack. All right, let's do a classic bicep move, 21. Let's start at the top. The cool thing also with a garage is that you can open up the garage doors. I'll do it just for the video because it's kind of cool, but. I found here's pretty pretty good lighting here actually. lean because if prep starts again I need to be like six or well, eight weeks out from the show so you gotta keep that condition <clears throat> I'm just look at my neighbors <laughs> all right guys not without a battery, so that's pretty much what I've been doing since the quarantine. Please subscribe to the channel, comment below, and let me know what you've been doing during this crazy time. All right, see you next time.